So they said in Surah 43, 49, 50 and 51, رَبَّكَ بِمَا أَحِدَ عَيْنْدَكَ إِنَّنَا لَمُ تَدُونَ And they said, O magician, call your Lord for us with what he took a pact covenant with you. Surely we will be guided once. And when, when he brought this ayat, a bigger ayat, so they are calling Musa as a magician. As if magic, magic is going on. He, says, he said to the magician, uh, Musa Islam, they said, O magician, call your Lord for us with what he took a pact covenant with you, surely we will be guided once. We will be guided once. You call your God Almighty, call your Lord, what he took a pact, pact covenant with you. Now, remember this, why they are saying magician? Because every ayah that is being read to mankind, people think that they have never heard this before. Because people are programmed into certain ideologies and philosophy, they think this is a magic going on. So again and again, people think this is a magic. People who, who listen to the truth, they think it's a magic. Normally, what is a magic? First, we understand the concept of a magic to understand why Quran is being referred as a magic. You see, what is magic? A person who shows you something which you know that this person, it is not real. It is not real. It is not real, but I am showing you something. A magician show you on a stage, comes on a stage, he showed you, he sh shows you something which is not real. It's not true. And you know he says some trick, I cannot understand, I cannot explain how he did it. This is magic. Similarly, he can show you in your mind. You see, he can show you something in your mind which is not true, but you can have no explanation. That is how you say he, he, he did magic. So magic is something which is not real, which is not true. People see it, they enjoy it, but they know it's not true, it's not true. So what happens? Similarly, the people are tuned or are uh, listening so much of lies in life. They're reading newspaper, it's lies. They're hearing this uh, news by, by agencies, all lies. You keep on listening to lies, your mind be, is full of lies. You see, you're reading false books. So all the time what you read and understand is falsehood. So your mind believes that falsehood as true. Now what happens, your mind is become a, a believer on falsehood. So when you hear the Quranic eyes as the truth coming from Allah, so your mind is already blinded by falsehood as that as true. When Quran, the truth comes, you think it's the magic going on. As today, you see, you all, we all believe Torah, Moses got the Torah. We all believe this. But the reality is not this. Because we read in the Old Testament, Pentateuch and all this, we believe like that. So this is what I'm trying to say, the publicity and the everything, propaganda that's going on is based on falsehood. So people are programmed in so much of falsehood, but they hear the truth. So they say, this is magic. So when Musa Salaam delivered the message, they said, this is the magician. He brought, he first, they brought the magicians. And once they, the magician submitted to Musa Salaam, the magician knew that Musa is not doing some magic. Because the magician know how we, how we fool or make tricks to the people. When they saw Moses was not like one of them, so they fall down and, and, and praise to God. So now, so and because this is, this is a magic, magician says, that, okay, whatever the promise is, or you have done a pact with the covenant with, with, the, with God, you, 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 you will be guided once you, you call your Lord. So now Allah says, فَلَمَّا كَشَفْنَا عَنْهُمُ الْعَذَابَ إِذَا هُمْ يَنْكُثُونَ So when we remove the punishment from them, whenever they are breaking it, so the, whenever the punishment was removed, they were breaking the covenant, they were breaking it. So وَنَادَى فِرْعَوْنُ فِي قَوْمِهِ قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ أَلَيْسَ لِي مُلْكُ, مُلْكُ مِصْرِ وَحَادِ الْأَنْهَارُ تَجْرِ مِنْ تَعْتِي أَفَلَا تُبْسِرُونَ and the Firaun, Pharaoh called his people, Oh, he said, Oh, my people, is not the kingdom of Egypt for me and the stream that flow underneath me. So do you not have insight? So the Pharaoh called his people and he, when he was confronted with Musa, peace be upon him, he called his people, Firaun. And he said to his people, Oh, my people, is not the kingdom of Egypt for me and the streams that flow underneath me? 
So do you not have sight? Because the people were getting confused with the Musa Islam deliverance of message. So he called his people and he wanted to make sure that they should not leave him. That is not the kingdom of Egypt belong to me. And the streams that below uh, are under beneath is runs uh, flow before uh, underneath me. So you do not have sight. And if you read further Surah Zukhruf 43, 52 and 53, Am min Wala yakadu yubin. Or I am not better than this. He who he who is despised, humiliated, he is not even near to clarify. This is the objection of Pharaoh on Musa, peace be upon him. Am I not better than this? This means referring to Moses. He is he who is despised, meaning humiliated. He is not even near to clarify. This is the description of Musa he is giving to these people that this uh, person cannot even clarify. He is humiliated, he despised, he is a small fellow. You know, looking looking down on Musa, Firon was looking down on Musa, peace be upon He cannot clarify, he is not even uh, clear, uh, near to clarify. He is despised, humiliated in the world. And and he says, Falawla ulqiya alayhi asfiratum min dahabin why not dresses are from gold bestowed thrown on him or the angels came joining with him now this is the is the the status in his mind that the angels should come joining with him and he should be given so much of gold gold he should be coming with gold wearing in a gold and the angels coming joining with him this is a humiliating fellow he can't he can't even express clearly you know this is this is the problem. Now, in Surah Ghafir 40, 25 and 26, فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ مِنْ عِنْدِنَا قَالُقْتُلُوا أَبْنَاءَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعَهُ وَاسْتَحْيُوا نِسَاءَهُمْ وَمَا كَيْدُ الْكَافِرِينَ إِلَّا فِي ضَلَالِ And when he, Moses, came to them with the truth from our nearness, they said, kill the sons of those who believe with him and shamed, keep, al keep alive their women, and the machinations of the unbelievers is not except in a strain. So when Moses, Musa peace be on came, this is all I'm telling you, the narration with Musa Salaam and the Firaun and his chiefs. When Musa Salaam came to them with the truth from our near, they said, kill the sons of those who believe with him. Whoever is believing with Musa Salaam, who has believed with him, kill them. And first, and shame, shame the woman. Shame, you're not ashamed. Shame, shame, shame the woman, insult the woman, or keep alive their woman. There are two meanings to this. What's uh, you? Shame them, keep, keep alive their woman. You know, this honor has been destroyed. This shame them. Shame the gay sheep, keep alive their woman, and the machination of the unbelievers is not accept astraying. And the Firaun said, Waqala Firaunu, Dharuni Aktul Musa. And the Firaun Pharaoh said, Leave me that I kill Musa, Moses, and he should call his Lord. Surely I feel I fear I fear that he will change your judgment or that he will manifest corruption in the earth. Now Pharaoh first he said to his people, and you they should kill the sons, kill the sons of those who believe him. And, and shame or keep alive their woman. This was the first order. The second order is that I will kill Musa. Firon said, I will kill Musa and he should call his Lord. And he says, Surely I fear that he will change your judgment or that he will manifest corruption in the earth. And he will do. He will manifest, show corruption in the earth. You see, the amazing part is this is very worse, very unusual, and very. You see, you see, this is how the big people are. You see, here he says, "Inni akhafu and yubadila dinakum." That I fear that he will change your judgment. Musa will change the judgment. Means you will change your mind. Okay, but before he said. Am I not better than this? He, he is despised, humiliated. He is not even clear. He, was, he is not even near to clarify. A person who, who cannot express himself, he is not near to clarify. How can that person change the judgment? Your judgment. 
and one side is saying that he is not even near to clarify, he is not able to express himself properly in the correct manner, he cannot convince people, he cannot clarify people, but at the same time he is, Firon is afraid that I fear that he will change your judgment. So how, you see the problem, the problem is that people, uh, people who are very good orators and person who has to deliver the message of God, you know, it should be like this. He's despised, humiliated, he's not even near to clarify. He's not even what, what, what he's trying to say. So look, Allah says that, he says, I fear that he will change your judgment. So this is very important thing that people, Pharaoh people, this inni akhafu wa yubaddila dinakum that surely I fear that he will change your judgment. You will change your judgment because you have understood what the message was given by Musa, peace be upon him. That is the true aspect of it. So this is how they, and he said call, that Musa should call his Lord and he will kill Musa. And he says, leave me. You see, this is also very important. You see, he says, Baqala Fir'auni Daruni Aktul Musa. He says, Fir'aun said, Leave me, I will kill Musa. Zaruni is a very important word here. Zaruni means leave me, I will kill Musa. So the question is, who is catching him? That he, who is catching him? He says, I want to kill Musa. If somebody says, I, want to, I want to kill so and so. So why go and kill? No, he's saying, leave me, meaning that you can get hold of me so that I, I, I can be able. So the people that to, to his company where his people are around get hold of me. And, oh, believe me, I will kill him. You know, as if the first get hold of him, then I will say. Similarly, he says, Zaruni, leave me. Who is holding him? Go and kill Musa, peace be upon him, if you want to kill. He says, Hold me. This is Zaruni. In the truth, he says, Hold me. He says, Not Zaruni. Uh, leave me that I kill Musa. So now, in what Musa Rasam says in Surah Ghafir 40:27, "Waqala Musa inni wotu bi Rabbi wa Rabbi kum min kulli mutakabbir la yuqminu bi yomil hisab." And Moses said, "Surely I seek refuge with my Lord and your Lord for every arrogant who does not believe with the day of account." This is basically uh, uh, Firon said, "Leave me that I kill Musa. He should call his Lord." So Moses called his Lord. How he called Waqala Musa inni Ostu bi Rabbi wa Rabbi ko min kulli mutakabbir. And Moses said, Surely I seek refuge with my Lord and your Lord with every arrogant who does not believe in the day of account. And in Surah Yunus 10 and 88, 89. Further he said, Musa, Waqala Musa Rabbana inna ka ataita fir'auna wa mala'ah zinatan wa umwalan fil hayati dunya. Rabbana yudhillu an sabilik Rabbana tmis ala amwalihim Wajdud ala kulubihim Fala yu'minu hatta yarabul adab al alim And Musa, Moses said, O oh our Lord, you give Fir'aun and his chiefs the adornment and the wealth in this worldly life. O oh our Lord, so, so that they mislead about your way. O oh our Lord, obliterate them on their wealth and make them rigid on their hearts so they will not believe until they see the painful punishment. Now this verse refers to, you see normally in the Quran, the, you will see the prophets were sent to deliver the message. All the prefer, prophets main job is to recite the ayahs to deliver the message. And after a situation where killing is coming, that they, they want to kill Musa, peace be upon him. And Musa said he should call his Lord because he, he, was, he clearly said, Call your Lord for his intention that I will kill you, Moses. So Moses, Moses called his Lord. On the account, he said, call your Lord. So what he said, Rabbana innaka ataita fir'auna wa mala'ah wa mala'ah zinatam wa walan fil hayat dunya O our Lord, you give Pharaoh, Fir'aun and his chiefs the adornment and wealth in this worldly life. When I was reading this verse to me, the most important point, if you look at the eyes very carefully, you can see the world. He says, <clears throat> the, you gave the Firaun, the Pharaoh and his chiefs, the adornment and wealth in this worldly life. And you can see in the world that the Pharaoh, not physical Pharaoh, I'm just saying the, who the wealth has, who the people who has got wealth. Tremendous amount of wealth is with the zenith and adornment and the wealth is, is the 
with the people. Pharaoh and his people is given this. this he's saying Pharaoh and his people, chiefs, the adornment and the wealth of this worldly life has been given. Rabbana lidrillu an sabili. O our Lord, they mislead about your way. They are spending trillion, trillions of dollars to make sure that you believe in the Torah of the Old Testament. You don't have to believe the Quran, you have to believe the Torah of the Bible. That Moses got the Torah. The trillions of dollars been spent. You, why I say this? Because if you go to the rural areas of Pakistan also, or anywhere in the world, you will know, you will say that Moses got the Torah. How did people come to know? Who told them? Not the educated class, I'm not talking about the educated class, I'm talking about the uneducated class. Everything, everywhere, in any parts of the world, this has been spent by the billions of dollars to, to, in your mind, you must believe that Moses came first and the Torah was there. And this Torah was given to Moses. So why I'm saying, they are spending, spending, misleading people about your way, your way. Rabbanat misalam wali wajdu dala kulubim. Oh, our Lord, obliterate them on their wealth and make them rigid on their hearts so they will not believe until they see the painful punishment. This, how people are misguided, are those people are misguided by those people who have got wealth in the world and they've got uh, adornment in the world and they are misleading people from the way. This permission is granted by Allah to those who are misguiding, to the shaitan. And in the Quran you will see on the day of judgment, majority will be befooled. It is one little people, little minor, little Khalil, little people will take guidance. The majority will be on the stray path. Shaitan has taken the multitude of the Satan, of, of the belief. Shaitan has misguided many people in the world. Multitude of the people are being misguided by the Shaitan. That's in the Quran. So it will happen like that. It will be always a little few. Khalil people will be on the straight path and guide themselves and on the day of judgment the garden will be with few people. Why? Because this is the sunnah and the practice of Allah as mentioned in the Quran. You cannot change that. And further in Surah Yunus uh, 10 and Ayah 89 قَدْ أُجِيبَتْ دَعْبَتُكُمَا فَاسْتَقِيمَا وَلَا تَتَّبِعَانِ السَّبِيلَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ He said without doubt your call has been answered. So both of you remain steadfast and you do not follow the way of those who do not know. Now in this ayah, Allah says, says answers to the Musa and Harun because they were both praying. He said, without doubt your call has been answered. So both of you remain steadfast and you do not follow the way of those who do not know. After the call, az zukhruf 43, 54 to 56. فَأَطَعُهُ فَأَطَعُهُ so Firaun eased out his people, so they followed him. Surely they became liberal people. So when they regretted us, we took vengeance from them. Then we drowned them all, to the, all together. So we made them the past and an example of others. You see, Firaun when Musa Salam and, and Harun prayed, Allah listened to their call and finally what happened when Allah listened to Musa Salam and his uh, Harun's call to destroy them, he says, so he, Firaun said, eased out his people, so they followed them, surely they became the liberal people, so when they regretted us, meaning God Almighty was regretted by them, we took vengeance, Allah took vengeance from them and we, then we drowned them all together, they were all drowned, Firaun and his host or the chiefs. Malay, they were all run, and, and made them a past an example for others. This was the end of this talk. I just want to end by saying, you see, I will read uh, certain verses, Surah Tambar and Ayat Tambar, to tell you, <clears throat> as in the beginning I read, that the book of Allah contains certain attributes. There were many attributes I was reading in the beginning. Similarly, I am reading those verses, or these are the points, in which Moses, Musa, or Moses was given this. In Surah, uh, first of all, I will read the honor, few, few, few verses about the honor, then I will read uh, what was given to him. In Surah Maryam 1951, Moses is mentioned as messenger prophet in the book. 
Musa, peace be upon him, Moses is mentioned as the messenger prophet in the book. In Surah Taha 20, 39, Allah casted his love on Moses. Allah casted his love on Moses. In Surah Taha 20, 41, Allah manufactured, made Moses for his, his, his self. Surah Taha 20, verse 30, 13, Allah selected Moses. Then in Surah Safa 37, 114, Manna, Allah favored Moses and Harun. Now what was given, these were the favor and what was blessed, well, he was blessed for, from this, these attributes. At the same time, now I'm going to read. You see, we have read, we came to know that Moses got the book, right? We got the book. Now in the Bible is the Torah. Now I will read what Moses got in different forms. You see in Bakr 2 and Ayah 53, Allah says, we gave Moses Al-Kitab, the book, and the Furqan, the criterion. Surah Al-Ala, 87 and Ayah 19. Moses got the Suhuf, pages. Pages, pages were given to him. Then Surah Al-Anam, 691. Moses was given, a book was given to Moses, which, is, which was a light, a nur, nur and a light, and, a, and of hidayat, a guidance. Surah Al-Nam 6 and Ayah 154, Moses, uh, book, book of Moses was given, which was detailed, and, a, and a, which was detailed means uh, tafsil, it was a detailed book, tafsil book, and hidayah, guidance, and a mercy, and a rahmah, a mercy. In Surah Hud 1117, book of Musa was, 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 had tafsil detailed, and a imam, the book was imam, and a mercy, a rahmah. Rahman and Mercy and Al Qasas 28 14. Allah gave Moses the hukum, the government, and, and ilm, the knowledge. A Sajda 32, Ayah 23. Book of Moses is, was Hidayat, a guidance for the children of Israel. In Surah Al Hud 11, verse 96. Allah sent Moses with, with Bayinat and Sultan. Bayinat means clarity. Sultan means authority. Ashura 42 and Ayah 13. Shara. Moses was given the Shara which was given to Nu, Ibrahim, and Isa, peace be upon him. Surah Safat 37 and Ayah 120. Salam, peace be on to Moses. Now, in Surah Al Araf 7, Ayah 144, Allah has chosen Moses with his risalat, messages, and with kalam, with his words. Surah Al-Araf 7 and Ayah 103 Allah sent Moses with his ayahs, verses towards the Pharaoh and his chiefs. Al-Baqarah 2 and Ayah 92 Allah sent Moses with Bayinat clarifications. Surah Ibrahim 14 and Ayah 5 Allah sent Moses with his verses, ayahs, signs to make out the people, to bring out people from the darkness into light. Surah Azab, Al-Azab 33 verse 7 Allah took the covenant with Moses. Al Araf 7, I have 145. Allah wrote the sermon, and sermon means moiza, and tafsil, detail of minshay of everything. In the tablet means the alwah for Moses. An Nisa 4 and Ayah 164, Allah spoke to Moses directly. Mominun 23, verse 45. Moses has been sent with clear Sultan authority. And Surah Araf 7 and Ayah 160, Allah did inspire, means Wahi, inspiration to Moses. So if, if you look, the so many uh, attributes of the book was, is with the name of Musa, peace be upon him, including the book. And we can say, Innan zalna tawrata fiha udam wa nur yahkum bi an ladina aslamu. Surely we reveal the Torah. In it is guidance and light, and the prophet judge. So he, that means Moses also governed by the Torah, governed the uh, governed the Hadu by the Torah. So Moses also got the Torah, but not only Torah. There were so many aspects of the book was given to him. So I end this talk of mine. Uh, you have come to know what the Quran says about the book of Musa. Any questions? We will discuss.